wake up, the Hotel Henry inside the old Richardson Olmsted complex is getting ready to open its doors to the public for its first ever art walk. And we've seen the renovations there that bring new life to that once abandoned property. And now we get to see the inside. News 4's Katie Alexander is giving us a tour this morning. Katie? Well, Brittany, we're up on the third floor, which is some of the event space, very popular for corporate events, also weddings, and also a great place to look at the art that is making its home here. This is Jessica Mancini. Tell me about this piece here. So this piece is actually Lisa, by Lisa H, um, as presented by Autism Services um, Incorporated. They work with families with autistic children to find therapeutic outlets for them, and it, it really is a gorgeous piece to complement this um, conference and event space. Um, so during the Art Walk tomorrow, um, the public will be invited in to really view all of these pieces over here. You'll see um, a sculpture piece by Bob Madden, and. Um, there are different, many different mediums and a lot of different Western New York artists to, to see and come through the spaces and especially the third floor. If you have a conference or a wedding and you're not going to be using these event spaces, it's a really cool way to, to come in and explore them. And this is really a floor you don't want to miss because of the art up here. This is some very important art for this building specifically. Mm -hmm. So this, the photographs you'll see here um, are by Stan Lipsy. Many people in Buffalo know who he is, former publisher of the Buffalo News, a uh, cultural or uh, community leader, and, and really a, a strong preservationist. And, and he was actually the founder of the Richardson Center Corporation, and he is such a large reason as, as why we're here today and why these buildings have been saved and repurposed. And we're so grateful to have a lot of his original, um, original photography um, throughout the hotel spaces. And we also have some sculpture peaches by Dwayne Hatchett as well. And just some really unique pieces that, that are just, they're gorgeous and great to see and they complement the space so well. And it's, they're perfect for the art walk. To, and it, that'll be tomorrow, Thursday, completely free, open to the public, no tickets needed, just come on in. Um, cash bars will be open and, and the restaurant will be open for dinner. It's going to be a really fun event. And that's from 4 to 7 tomorrow evening. What a wonderful opportunity to come see this art for yourself and also see how this space has truly been transformed. It's a 140-year-old building that truly has new life now. So you can check it out for yourself and you can learn more about tomorrow night's event on the Founded on 4 section of our website, WIVB.com. For now, reporting live, Katie Alexander, News 4. Thank you, Katie.